Alright guys, uh, we return here, this is episode something or other, I feel like it's like 23, but I could be wrong. And we're gonna go down and fight Mr. Rom, Rom who will probably beat us a couple times. And the way it's gonna work is if I kill him on the first or second attempt, I'll just make that one video. If it takes longer than that, I'll put up the, the failed attempts, the first two failed attempts. And then whenever I beat him, I'll put up that attempt, so. But I'll keep talking as normal, since I'm streaming, and talking is just part of it anyway. And here we are, in the lake. Uh, one thing I like to do is just do emotes in front of Ram, and I'm just gonna sit here and, and wave at him. Just, uh, let's see here. I do Ram, huh? Nobody likes you, Rom. You know that. How about a clap? Uh, let's let's just hang out for a while, uh, enjoy the the wonderful view. And his face looks uh, or <laughs> his mouth looks rather uh, rather interesting. Thank you, Japanese developers, for your uh, sexual imagery. And we gotta we gotta do work. I'm sorry, Rom. We gotta fight. Um, usually on the first attempt I just Rambo and do damage to him. On the second, the later attempts I will always kill the first wave of spiders. And then I will deal with... And then I will Rambo him after that. You can keep killing the spiders if you want. But, uh, it's pretty unreliable actually fighting him, so I, I tend not to care that much. I'm surprised we're doing so much damage, though, because he's already quite low, so maybe Blade of Mercy is pretty legit against Rom. I didn't know he was weak to magic, I suppose. That doesn't really make any sense, but alright. I forgot to switch to choir gear, so we'll see how well we do with our crow gear. Our, um, whatever the crow lady's name is, cosplay. I tried to dodge out of that, but it's okay, because the boom, the boom moved us far back enough that we don't actually have to worry about the spiders killing us. Um, where's that asset? There it is, okay. It's impossible to get your bearings down here, so... There are no landmarks, other than spiders. There's no real way to know where you are, other than rotate the camera and hope for the best, so... Oh, he did it. He went directly into the, the floppy. So, if, if he goes directly into that, there's not much you can do. If he does a spell, then you can get damage on And there's a lot more spiders this time, just just because of what we how we approached it. He he went up twice, so we have to back up because it's total bullshit when he goes up trace. But I did come in with a few less vials, but blood vials don't really matter in this fight because you, you're either gonna die or kill him before you run out. And the spiders can kill you in one hit, so that should be fun. Uh, oh. I tried, I tried. <laughs> he, he kept doing the the attacks at, at bad times, so that just didn't work out. Alas, the horror. So, next attempt, I'll be going in and actually killing the spiders, so that should make it a little bit more efficient. Or the first wave of spiders, anyway. And once those spiders are dead, you can be pretty patient about when you deal the next round of damage. So you can get them almost past the second transition for free. If I really have trouble with this fight, I will switch to choir garb. But if not, I'll just stick with my crow garb here. I'm not sure what I'm going to wear on the way to Lagarius, because I like wearing a different thing every time. But, uh, hard to say what, what outfits I haven't worn yet. Down we go. And nothing. Okay. And I like isolating the spiders. So, they all seem to fan out to the left a bit. We just dodge forward, do an attack, 
Usually dodge plus one attack is enough to kill them. And Blade of Mercy is one of the weaker weapons, so it must be almost every weapon that can do it. If I'd hazard a guess. One, two. Spiders. Killing the spiders, like every spider that spawns, is a very viable strategy in the in new game, but in once you get higher up it the the boss is just too dangerous so it, all it does is make the attempt take longer and it doesn't really make you that much safer in the process except for this wave which obviously the, the boss isn't doing anything so you might as well kill them when you see speed runs they they pretty much just ramble the boss and hope for the best but that doesn't always work obviously I don't think the fight is super random. It's just, uh, it's hard to know exactly what you should do in any given situation. So at this point is when we, we tend to just sit here and watch him back off. And do stupid stuff in front of his face. But I'll be taunt tame about it. One, two, three, four. Alright. I gotta figure out the optimal spot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's right here. So now we just wait for full stamina. We got it. And he he backed dash, unfortunately, which is gonna reduce my damage output. I'm not sure. I feel like he should have warped before he did, if that makes sense. But maybe I should have backed him into the wall so he couldn't back dash so easily. I do want to lock on to him because it's slightly faster to sprint to him if you're locked on. Your character will beeline directly, which cuts off a little bit of the direction issues, directional issues from just sprinting with no lock. And we already got him past that transition. We also staggered him out of it, so now we get even more free damage as long as the spiders don't kill us. And now we can kill him in about four or five hits, I believe. Provided he doesn't kill us. So. Kill will be killed. I'm actually close to my blood stain, and I found it for once. Usually the blood stain is completely impossible to find in this fight, but since it was here, I might as well go for it. Why not? But he did do a good attack this time. He, he's not doing a total bullshit pattern. So if he does that, we know it has a little bit of recovery. And we should be able to get through. But now we're just gonna hope for the best. And the lock broke, unfortunately. Okay. Rom Romster. Romster Romster. I might have taken too long in this video, so might not be able to witness the first attempt I mean. Alright, that was actually very good. Um the, the spider hit us and it knocked us out of the animation that would have, or his other attack, which would have killed us immediately, I believe. So we got pretty lucky there. Okay. Alright, we're still in pretty good shape, as long as the spiders don't get us. Fucking spiders. And back to Dodger. Uh, once you have higher insight, I believe it's just 15, his spells track too well, so you can't just run to avoid them, you have to dodge in the vast majority of situations, which makes the boss quite frustrating. I'm just gonna go for it, I think. Okay, we got him, I'm pretty sure it will work, so, despite, uh, this might have actually happened the last attempt. <laughs> But double kills work in Bloodborne, they don't always work in Dark Souls. So the boss will remain dead. Otherwise I would not have gotten the item, of course. But I guess that's going to do it for this episode. I need to watch the run back. Oh, no, wait. I, I have to go look at the Blood Moon, right? Well, hopefully this hasn't gone over 15 minutes, but we'll see. Uh... 
actually never mind that's that's actually going to do it for this episode and i'll i'll see you guys next time hope you enjoyed the video killed brahman two attempts on new game plus seven so not not too bad and we got yarnum in three attempts so this has been a quite a good round